Well, St. Anthony's Dining Hall will feed more than 3,000 of San Francisco's hungry and homeless this Thanksgiving. This is just part of what St. Anthony's has been doing for the past 60 years. Now, to make it happen, it relies on a steady stream of volunteers and a dedicated staff. Garvin Thomas introduces us to one man who's been helping to change lives for more than two decades. Garvin. Janelle, Marcellus Ducre was lost one day in San Francisco more than 20 years ago. Lost in more ways than one. He was homeless, but also standing on a street corner, not knowing which way to turn. He looked up, saw St. Anthony's, and thought it was a sign. It certainly seems like it. This is your first time, right? I'd be happy to help you. Marcellus Ducre runs the free clothing program at St. Anthony's in San Francisco with such skill. I'm going to let you in right now. How about that? Okay. You can just tell he's had experience. Okay. Could, could you explain to Jessica how this works? This is the first time. And it's true, in a way. 31, might work. Everything you see Marcellus knows about clothing, well, that he's had to learn on the job. David, why don't you come down here? But relating to his clients, well, that's something he knows of firsthand. When I was homeless, I learned so many things that I use in my job. Okay, the pants, socks, underwear, belts, hats. Marcellus walked into St. Anthony's one day in the 1990s looking for help. If you look on that wall up there. And has spent the following 20 years giving it. <laughs> Every day, 150 people are welcomed into his shop and treated not like those in need of charity, but customers deserving respect. Anybody looking for a 36? Marcellus knows the clothes he provides won't change someone's life, but the experience they have here yes, I love you too. could possibly change its direction. That is what reverberates. That's what, when they move out, the next thing he does, he or she does, is not to, you know, curse the system, but it's to say, wow, you know, I like this guy treated me right. His next reaction or response to someone else is likely to be a positive one. Okay, let me see what I have for her. It is clear with his attitude, work ethic, and people skills, there are many for-profit companies that would do well to hire Marcellus. He hints there have been offers over the years, but the rewards Marcellus truly seeks are not ones you can deposit in the bank. Some people always say thank you to me, and I say thank you, and they're like, well, you're supposed to say you're welcome. No, I say, it helps me just as much as it helps you, maybe even more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good Love energy. He's got good energy. Oh, great energy. He said himself he gives 200% every day. He's spent at the end of the <laughs> after after working so hard to give these folks a true store experience. Right. You know, to walk in, have a selection of nice things to choose from, and treating them with respect. And, and totally. Totally can, can change someone's day. And if you change one day, maybe you change the next, and things can snowball after that. You changed our evening tonight with that yeah, story. I mean, times Fantastic. are hard, tough for them, you know, and they turn around and come out and walk out with this positive experience. Mm -hmm. Go, Marcellus. Okay, thanks, Garvin. <laughs> thanks, Garvin.